welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would start off today's video. It's a little bit of a day in the life, but it's mainly uh, Ava's going into a big girl bed video. Oh, thank you. I love it. Oh, nice Teddy. Thanks, Ava. So Mirak and I decided that Ava, it was time for her to have a big girl bed. Her crib was convertible, so we dropped off the front rails and so she's been in her toddler bed but she's growing so much and she's so tall that probably by september she would have been like hitting the end of the crib so we decided to go ahead and we bought her a big girl bed now we didn't go like over the top we went to ikea and we got her a really great day bed with some storage and that was shipped yesterday so it arrived and i got it into my head that i was going to do it all by myself before I get into this video anymore, my name is Angela and welcome to my channel. I like to do videos on all things about motherhood and family and lifestyle and keeping this little munchkin of mine entertained. So click that like and subscribe button down below and also make sure that you hit that bell button so that you're notified every time I upload. We ordered this bed from Ikea and it is awesome. I'm so excited. I had a day bed when I was growing up and I remember I loved it. So I wanted to get one for Ava. So we got her a day bed and there's storage underneath. It's also kind of like a trundle bed where it's a twin, but you can also pull it out and it can become a double. We're just leaving her in a twin right now. She's way too little for a double. So I got it into my head that I was going to set this up all on my own. Now, first of all, it's Ikea furniture and we all know that Ikea furniture is confusing. And it usually takes two people, but I did it and I'm so proud of myself. Mirk helped a little bit when I just had to like flip it up, but I was so excited. But today, like my neck hurts, I'm sore. I felt like I ran like a marathon. So I'm gonna insert that footage here right now. We ordered her a uh, big girl bed from Ikea. And I'm really excited. The delivery process was awesome. The guys were great. It went so smooth. They brought it all the way into the house. They had masks. I was comfortable with it. What I'm not comfortable with is setting it up. <laughs> oh, I hate setting up Ikea furniture. Of course, like Mirk is going to help me do this, but I am so nervous because this is such a big undertaking. I've never set up a bed from Ikea and this bed, so we got her like this really cute day bed. I thought that a day bed would be good. I grew up in a day bed and I really liked it, but the best thing is it has like storage drawers underneath. That's what I don't want to put together are these drawers. Are you excited for your big girl bed? Yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll just like film a little bit. I don't think that we're gonna be able to set this bed up in a day. I think it's probably gonna take us a couple days and maybe a few glasses of wine or a cocktail or two in order to survive this Ikea setup. So stay tuned and let's see. It's not gonna be a bedroom transformation. I'm not redoing it. Like I kind of had a bunny theme when she was born in her nursery. I still love this wall that I did for her. I, uh, yeah, we'll see what this is gonna turn into, but big girl beds are a big deal. I can't believe my baby, she's growing up. I'm totally procrastinating right now, guys. I thought that I would get a head start and maybe open up the box and at least organize all the screws, but, oh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll just wait till Mirk gets home. Oh, can't put it off. Let's just get it done. Rip it off like a Band-Aid. All right, here is box one of four. And then that's where all the screws are and I'm intimidated and scared already here's what the bed looks like how would you see that hems hemans i have no idea but it's super cute but i am super intimidated okay so i've opened up the screws look at how many oh boy ava this is the last time you're touching these screws because if we lose any we're in big trouble. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the screws and everything out their bags, but put them in Tupper containers with lids and out of the reach of Ava. <laughs> oh, no, positivity. We can do it, we can do it. Right, Ava? Uh -huh. We can do it! So I have these little Tupper containers and I'm keeping everything organized, but then I'm gonna get Ava. So she's gonna help sort me. I told her we can't lose anything. So right now she's taking all the wooden pieces and putting them out to the side. Good job, Ava. High five. Yeah. 
Okay, so that was awesome. She helped me organize that. So there's four big bags of screws and parts. I'm only gonna open up the first two set up packages one and two and then when I open up packages three and four you get the gist <sighs> this is going to be complicated <laughs> it says here that you need a screwdriver and a hammer so I went and got ours and Eva has a little wooden tool set did you get your tools as well <gasps> are you gonna help yeah come on can she get any sweeter emergency I'm already lost <laughs> on on step number one I'm already lost it says I need these four pieces and I can't find them and it says they're from box number one I have no idea oh boy oh boy oh boy what am I going to do? I really wanted to like try and set this up before Mirit got home from work and I don't think, <laughs> I think I was overly ambitious. <laughs> okay, it's about a good hour later and I'm sweating. Thank God for YouTube. I'm watching this guy, what is he called? PP Flat Pack. He's so good and he's helping me through this. So this is the bottom of the bed. It, like I said, it comes with storage drawers. Ava, how are we doing? Good. Good. That's She's good. helping me. That's she good. has some of her tools, but I'm sweating. <laughs> so I think I'm on like hour five. Look at this, Ava. Oh, Ava, oh, we're not careful. ready yet. <laughs> so all I have to do is put on the tops and then I think tomorrow then I'll just build the drawers. But hey, look at me. Ava, and Eva helped too. High five, monkey. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Yay! Good job, mommy. Who's excited? Eva! Okay, let's put our sheets on. <gasps> big girl sheets and a big girl bedspread. Okay, guys, we did it. Yay! I think somebody's gonna have a good sleep tonight. Are you excited? <laughs> Tomorrow I'll finish the drawers. I'm so happy, but I kind of got a little bit teary-eyed when we had to say bye to the crib. My little one, you're getting to be such a big girl. Mwah. I love you, say Eva. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mom. Oh, my girl. So here is the bed. It's messy right now. Ava, are you excited? She slept so well in her bed. She had such a big sleep in. So I think she's really excited. But here are the drawers. So today, it is my mission to do her drawers. I'm gonna clean up her bedspread and kind of give her room like a little makeover. I'm still gonna keep the rabbit theme. I love these little rabbit pictures that we have here. We have this amazing Winnie the Pooh and rabbit. My auntie repurposed this. I had this in my room when I was a baby and then she repurposed it with this like refurbished wood frame. I love it. I'm gonna get rid of some of her baby books and just have her big girl books. We don't need her, I know this is messy right now guys, sorry. We don't need this painted anymore because she's a big girl. I'm gonna clean up her mirror. I'm still gonna keep this. So kind of just give it a once over and freshen it up. This is what makes me nervous. All of these screws. <laughs> okay, we can do it. Right, Ava? High five. Yeah. yeah. Rich, Mom. It wasn't very convincing. <laughs> so I need those with the, which ones though? The short ones or the big one? Oh, the short ones.
Myself. Okay, two more drawers to go. The bed is put together, but now I'm kind of like reorganizing Ava's room. I've put up, we took down these bunny pictures when this was above her crib because once she could stand, she actually started reaching for them, but she's sworn to me now that she won't do that again. So I've put those back up and then now I'm just going to reorganize this bookshelf because there's a lot of books in here that she doesn't read. And then in this corner, I'm kind of sad, I had like a nursing rocking chair and footstool that I loved, but I I guess we don't need it anymore. I still like her sitting on my knee when I read to her, but I can sit on her bed now. So I think I'm gonna make like a little reading corner here for Ava. Ava has so many books, she loves her books, but there's a lot here that we just don't read anymore or we just don't use. So I'm gonna go through them and try and get rid of some baby books, some keepsakes, and then some donate. through all of her books, cleaned it out, and then I'm making like a little, Ava, I'm making like a little reading corner. Of course, don't you find, when you clean through stuff, you always find toys that your kids wanna play with again. That's okay, I'm making great progress, I'm really excited. little reading corner for Ava. Ava has a big girl room. Ava has a big girl room. All right guys, I hope that you liked this video and making Ava's big girl bed and turning her room into a big girl room instead of a little baby.